capture you. <laughs> Welcome to the video brain. Oh, let me uh, restart it. There we go. That's what we're supposed to see. Welcome to the video brain computer system. One of the early 1977-78 units that uh, didn't make it very big. Anyways, um, this is the main screen on the console, and it has uh, various built-in functions. Uh, kind of like the Atari 400, it has a built-in text mode. If we hit the text button, there's a button that actually says text on it. There we go. And now I'll hit all the keys on the keyboard so you can see the entire character set that it has in memory. space and now do the shifted side. Now you'll watch the cursor in the corner. It'll turn color to tell you you're now in shifted mode. And now all the shifted characters come up. And as you can see it's not a row of numbers. It's an embedded row of numbers that come up with the different keys as you go down the keyboard in a sort of a uh, number pad fashion. If you were looking at the keyboard. And that's all the characters are up. Uh, next function that uh, I can show you is, uh, well, let's go to the special function. Special allows us to change the background color. And the foreground color. Next is repeat mode. So we'll hit the R button. There we go. Repeat mode. And now you see it's repeating the top line only. And if I hit the uh, special button again, it'll go back to our text display. And now we've got the top line repeated all, up, all over the screen there. And that's the maximum it can display in this uh, mode. It could get more, uh, I don't know, programmatically, but that's all this mode is. Anyways, go back to special mode. Now there's V, which changes to the high res uh, mode. And you notice the text gets smaller. If I hit special again, it goes back to the text screen. And you can't get more lines of text on there, even though it's all squished up. <clears throat> the same number of text lines, just it's uh, higher resolution. And of course, we can do both repeat and high res. Ta -da. Okay, now let's go back to regular. Okay. Exit out of special. There we go. Next uh, button is color. There we go. Which displays uh, 16 colors from the system on the screen at one time. Next up is clock. There we go. And it's Y2K compatible. Uh, let's see. Here, oops, shift mode, there we go. What? Oh, my bad. <laughs> two, zero, one, two. Months today is, what month is it? Uh, zero, five, and date is. 11. There we go. Okay, the date is entered. And now we press G to start the clock. There we go. Friday, May 11th, 2012, and the time is counting. And that's accurate as of when I did this video. Yay! Except for a second, but who cares? But as you can see, 2012 is Y2K compatible 1977 computer system. Uh, next would be alarm, but that just sets an alarm so that it goes beep at you when a certain time arrives. And that's pretty much all the built-in functions. 
As you can see, the text mode keeps the same colors as the clock. Uh, it has cursor up and cursor down. Forgot to mention that. So I have to press shift to get the clock mode again. And that's the built-in functions of the video brain.